Good morning, everybody. Wake up, wake up. It's time to get up and get moving and get going. It's a great day. And I hope that today you are finding yourself in health and blessed and favored of God. I just wanted to pop into your world this morning for just a quick moment and to remind you, in case nobody has told you today, that you are important, you are valuable, you are valued, and you are loved. It reminds me of a, of a movie where one of the lines was a woman telling a child, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. Today, somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to know this, that you have value and you are important. And that there are people in your lives, this pastor who loves you and sees the value in you. But no one sees that in you more than your heavenly father. And he loved you so much that he knit you together in the womb to be exactly who you are. You know, I was having coffee this morning with some friends and the topic of conversation came up of, of suicide and people who take their lives. And we were talking about, uh, you know, people who seem to have it all. They have money, they have family, they have support, they have everything they need, and they deal with issues of depression, self-esteem, those kind of things. And it's a constant battle for them. And some of them cannot fight through that battle and end up taking their own lives. And, and this morning, it's just been heavy on my heart to remind each and every one of you how valuable you are and how special you are to God. The scripture says that he loved you and he knew you before you were ever even born. And that he so loved you that he sent his only begotten son, that if you would simply believe in him, you would find eternal life. So no matter how you're feeling today, no matter what your struggles may be, no matter what your battles may be, I may be talking to somebody who's been dealing with depression in your life. You've been struggling with it. It's been a, a cloud over your head. I may be talking to somebody who's, who's been dealing with feeling like they are less than what they are. They can't see their own value. They can't see their own self-worth. They've been dealing with issues of self-esteem or feeling worthless. I speak into your life today and I speak that you are valuable. You are more precious to your heavenly father than you can even imagine. The very life that he has given you is a gift. And it's important that you take that gift and that you use that gift that he's given you and that talent and that anointing. He created you to be exactly who you are. And I know the enemy fights us. I know that there's a constant struggle on so many levels. But I just want to encourage someone this morning, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't tap out. Don't give in. Because the word of God tells us in Revelation, as John is writing to the churches of Revelation, he reminds them at the end of each letter that to him who overcomes is given the rewards of heaven, the rewards of the heavenly father, to the one who overcomes. I know overcoming is not always easy. And I don't minimize the struggles and the battles with depression and all of those kind of issues of life. I don't minimize that. But I want you to know that you have a heavenly father who loves you enough to bring you through all of that. So today, remember that you are loved and you are valued and you are important. I'm praying for you. I love you. If you need me for anything, reach out to me. I'm always here. So you take care of yourselves today and make it your challenge for the day to speak life into someone else because the people that you encounter in your life, it may seem random and arbitrary, but it never is. And they may be there for just that moment for you to speak life into them or you to speak encouragement into them. Maybe you don't struggle with depression or self-worth or any of those things, but you know people who do. Encourage them, lift them up, dry, help them dry their tears, be a shoulder they can cry on. Share the love of Jesus with them today. 
I love you. Take care of yourselves. God bless.